Hello there, the today's topic of discussion is Terraform data sources. So we are going to see what is Terraform data sources are and how to use the Terraform data sources inside your Terraform project. Secondly, we are going to perform a demo where we are going to create a data, Terraform data source and then we are going to fetch some information from our AWS cloud service provider. So let's start with the first point that is what is Terraform data source. Let's take an example to understand the Terraform data source. Assume that you are a developer and you are working on a Terraform script. So this is your Terraform script for starting an EC2 instance onto AWS. So here you will see uh, our instance type is t2.micro. We have provided a name or the tag that is Terraform EC2. And this is the AMI for our EC2 instance. So this is the AWS resource block of our Terraform script. Once we apply this uh, uh, resource block or once we execute our Terraform script, then it is going to create an EC2 instance onto our AWS environment. But what if, if I want to know the public IP or the instance ID or the tags name of my EC2 instance, which I have just started using this Terraform script. So you can simply say, hey Rahul, just go back to your browser, go to or log into your AWS console and from there you can fetch the public ID, instance ID and the tags. That's a one way of fetching the information. But what if, if I want to know this information only using the Terraform script? So here you can see this is the Terraform script for creating a resource of type EC2. So this is just an input instruction for uh, AWS uh, environment to create an EC2 instance using Terraform. But this input instruction doesn't return you back anything. So here you will see this is a simple input instruction. So if you want to get any information back from your uh, AWS console or AWS environment, then you need to create a data sources. So that's why data sources are needed when you want to get back some information using the Terraform script. So here we have only created the resource. That's why we are not getting back any information. But if you create a data sources using Terraform, then you can get the information back in the form of public IP, instance ID and the tags. A simple uh, resource of uh, AWS contains a lot of information attributes. These three are just an example, but if you create a data source, then you can get many information attributes back from your uh, resource, which you have created using Terraform. So now next thing which we are going to see, we are going to see the syntax of our Terraform data source and how to create the data source inside your Terraform script. All right. So this is the structure or the definition of our Terraform data sources. So here are two concepts. One is the data block and one is the output block. So data block refers to data sources and output block refers to the information which you will get it back from AWS environment and which you are going to print onto your console. So here, as you can see, I'm printing the public IP, but I'll get back to this output block later. Let's start with our data block. So here you can see uh, I have used the uh, resource as AWS instance. So what does it mean? Since we are working on AWS, so the data source which I want to create is of type AWS instance. Second, we need to provide the name of my uh, data source. That's why I have given the name as my AWS instance. So this is just like uh, you can change the name as per your choice. It is up to you. Second thing, we need to define the filter. But why do we need to define the filter? Uh, assume that you are working on an AWS environment where you have created multiple number of an EC2 instances. So now you want to create a data source and you want some information back from your AWS environment. But you have a multiple number of EC2 instances. So which one to choose? So that's why we define a filter. So this filter will be applicable on a particular one EC2 instance. So that EC2 instance is like which has a tag name as Terraform EC2. So it will only pick that EC2 instance, which has a tag name as a Terraform EC2. That's why we need to define the filter. And if you go back to the previous slide, then you can see this is the uh, uh, resource block where we have created an EC2 instance. And here we have defined the tag name. So if you look this tag name, then here we have defined Terraform EC2. So we just wanted to filter only this EC2 instance using this Terraform data source. And we want to discard every other EC2 instance. All right. Second, uh, we need to define the dependency. But why do we need to define the dependency? All right. So in a single Terraform file, uh, you will have uh, like a resource block where you have created a AWS instance and EC2 example is the uh, resource block name. 
So we need to find the information or we need some information return back of this EC2 instance. So we need to define the dependency of this resource block. So just keep in mind that the name of this resource block that is AWS instance and EC2 example. So we are going to create that dependency in this depends on block. So here AWS instance dot EC2 underscore example and which you can again verify over here AWS instance EC2 underscore example. So that's the dependency we need to define into data source. That's because that is how a data source is going to know like how I can fetch the information of our EC2 instance or the particular EC2 instance. All right. Now we have defined the data source. Second, this is the output block. And here, this output block name, you can put any name of your choice, like fetched info from AWS. So I have kept this just simple, but you can change uh, as per your need. Second, we need to define the uh, value, like what kind of information you want it back. So I want to get back public IP, but how to define that public IP attribute over here so that it can be printed onto console. So first of all, you need to use the keyword data that comes from here data source. Second, this is of type AWS. That's why we are using AWS underscore instance. Third, what's the instance? So that's the instance which we have created over here in the data source. That is my AWS AWS instance. Sorry, I just clicked it. So this is the instance of our data source, uh, the name of my data source instance. So this is the name which I have kept it over here and what information you want to get it back. So that is public IP. So this is how you create uh, your Terraform data source to get some information back from your AWS environment. So here I am getting it back the public IP, but you can get the tag name or instance ID also. Let's head over to the demo. And this is my Terraform file for my data source and the example which I have taken just onto the slides. So first of all, this is my provider block that is AWS because we are working on AWS. And here we need to mention reason, access key and secret key. Uh, just one disclaimer over here, uh, we cannot use the plain text access key and secret key uh, in your production environment because that's not a recommended security practice. But this is just an example. That's why I'm using it. But it is strongly discouraged to use this uh, plain text access key and secret key. But anyway, let's move forward. And this is my resource block, which I have just explained. That is AWS instance, the name of resource. Uh, the EMI which I'm taking and the instance type is t2.micro and this is the tag name Terraform EC2. Okay. Secondly, we have created a data uh, source uh, resource over here also and the same uh, the name is my AWS instance and here again I'm filtering on the basis of tag that is Terraform EC2 and this is the tag name which is over here. And third, uh, that is uh, depends upon uh, the dependency on our this resource that is AWS instance EC2 example. So that's the dependency. And finally, this is the output where we will be printing the public IP. Okay, but before that, what I will do, I will just comment out this section so that you will know like uh, how the Terraform uh, resource or the data source uh, comes into picture. So here, if you'll notice over here, then this Terraform script is just simply going to start an EC2 instance. It is not going to return you back anything because we have commented this uh, data uh, sources tags over here. All right, so what I'll go, I'm just gonna open the terminal and uh, start running some Terraform commands. Uh, one more thing, uh, this is my GitHub wrapper, which is public, and I'll share the link of this GitHub wrapper where I have created all the previous example which I have taken into the session. So you can find all the code of Terraform into this GitHub wrapper. And also along with that, I have prepared this guide on my blog, that is jhook.com, where you will find all the instruction and the same code which I have used into the current demo. So feel free to use both the github link as well as this guide all right now we have commented out our data source section this one and we are only going to create an ec2 instance so which you can see over here so the first command which i'm going to run is terraform init command all right so now our terraform init command has executed successfully i'll clear the screen the second command i'm going to run is terraform plan command and here you can see uh, it is saying plan to add one. So it is going to create a one resource, but it has not created yet. All right. So the final command for actual creation of a resource or the EC2 instance, the command is Terraform apply. Hit enter. Type yes.
All right, so our Terraform apply command has just finished and it has created one resource onto AWS. So let's get back to our AWS console on a browser and verify the resource first. So this is my AWS dashboard. In the search console, we can type EC2, click on the EC2. And here you can see this is our Terraform EC2 instance, which we have just created. And if you click on the instance ID, then you can uh, get to know all the details about your Terraform EC2 instance. So here, this is the public IP, 370.199.241. And these are the rest of the details of associated with our EC2 instance, which ha we have just started using Terraform. Now we know our Terraform EC2 instance has been created. Let's get back to our Terraform script and enable the data source. So heading back to our Terraform script, I'll reduce the console size over here. And this is my data source block. So I'm just going to uncomment this block so that I can execute this Terraform data sources. So now I'll save the uh, Terraform file. And now you can see we have the resource block where we have previously started the EC2 instance. And now we have the data source. So it should return you back with the public IP address. And as you know that uh, Terraform once if we are going to change the same Terraform file, then it is not going to start again an EC2 instance, but instead it is going to take the new change which you have done into Terraform file. So we have done the new changes that is data sources. So this is the block which we have added. So what I'll do, I'll just increase the terminal size. I'll clear the terminal over here and I'm just going to run the command Terraform plan apply, sorry, again and hit enter type yes and here you can see uh, the apply is completed and you can see it has not created any resources because uh, in the previous terraform apply command we have already created an ec2 instance but here we have created a data source block so that's why this data source block is just a logical block uh, which doesn't needs to be created on uh, aws environment that's why it has not created any resource but here you can see this is the public ip address which we got back from our aws environment so this is the public IP uh, which I got back of uh, my EC2 instance and if you go back to our EC2 instance detail this is the same IP address 370, 199 and 241 and yeah here it is this is the same IP address which I got back. So uh, this is how you can use the Terraform data sources inside your Terraform file or Terraform script uh, to get some information back from your AWS or any other cloud environment provider such as Google Cloud or Azure. So here I'm just getting the public IP, but instead you can get the tag name, private IP, subnet and any other details associated with your Terraform or the AWS resources. So with that, we conclude the today's short session on how to use Terraform data sources inside your Terraform script or Terraform project. Uh, if you have any feedback or a comment on the today's session, then please put down into the comment section. And if you really like this video, then please hit the like button. That will really help. If you are interested into the similar content on DevOps, Terraform, Helm chart, Kubernetes, then keep on following this channel where I keep on uploading the similar content on a weekly basis. And uh, yeah, feel free to share your thoughts. And if you have any doubts or error, then also those are welcome into the comment section. So see you into the next session of uh, Terraform or DevOps. Till then, bye-bye and take care.